I'm so excited, honestly. And his reaction was like... <laughs> So many of you guys said we want a vlog. Let the transformation begin. I literally dreamed of this. So this is the before. You've seen this and that already, but I really needed somewhere to get ready. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm not using, I am actually using all the drawers, but I don't really need all of this space. Bit of decluttering to be done, but yes, let's let the transformation begin. <laughs> Making my own fragrance! Thank you to Tifa for sponsoring today's video. I have, oh my god guys, you won't even believe I've wanted this range for months, like since I moved in and I've become a homeowner. I've been like obsessed with kitchen stuff. You guys know I've started to cook a bit more. So I've wanted these products, I'm gonna show you in a sec, for literally months. And I've seen my friends rave about this as well. So I'm so excited, honestly. Let me show you guys. I've been itching to take it out and I'm so excited I finally can. So I'm going to be showing you guys the Tifa in Genia range today. So we have some Tupperware lids, lid, more lids. The handles, these are very important. And then we have the pots and pans themselves. So guys, the Ingenia range is genius because it's ideal for busy people who like easy to use, multi-use products that make life a whole lot simpler. The great thing about the Ingenia range is that it saves a lot of space. The handle is obviously removable, so it makes stacking the pots and pans really space efficient. We have some Tupperware lids because you can store these all in the fridge and you can even use them in the oven when you detach the handle. Guys, it's my first time cooking with this range. I'm so Right. Olive oil. And go the onions. All chopped differently. Not very good. My mom is not going to be proud of me when she sees this. I have to say, the pots look very beautiful. They look fancy. Putting some garlic in because if you know me, you know I love garlic. The onions and garlic are getting beautifully softened right now. While that's happening, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the range. The handles are like the main thing about this thing because they allow you to stack your pots and pans and save your space in your pots and pans drawer, in your fridge, in your dishwasher because they are removable. So all you have to do is click and then put it onto your new pot. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys what I'm making. I'm making pasta bake. And the reason I chose to make pasta bake is firstly because I love pasta, secondly because you can make the pasta in this and then you can put the same pot in the oven. I'm telling you, it's genius. Time to boil our pasta now. Let's get some boiling water in here. I really struggle with kitchen space and the Ingenia range is really good for this because it really helps to maximize your space and declutter. So if you see this, this was my drawer before and this is after. So you can see it really does help because the pots and pans stack really nicely on top of each other and the lids and Tupperware lids stack really nicely as well. I'm cheating with this recipe because my sisters told me this pasta sauce is really good so I'm gonna try it out. But I did cut up my own onions and garlic. Mmm, that smells good. Unpopular opinion, cheddar is the best cheese, especially on top of pasta bake, but I will mix a bit of mozzarella just for the vibes. Yes, that's nice. My friends taught me to put in some mozzarella at this stage and they make banging pasta bake. Stringy heaven. Some cheese on top. It's ready to go into the oven and I don't need to transfer it into another dish. The same pot I used on the hob is now in the oven and then you can take it from the hob to the table to serve and then to store your leftovers you're fine to pop that pot into the fridge with the Tupperware lid and then when you're done and you want to clean it you can pop the same pot into the dishwasher. Loving it. Looks like we're ready. <sighs> Mm. Oh, Ma, would you like some pasta? Oh, babe. Maria, yeah. would you like some? Oh. 
Oh. Guys, I literally just explained the Ingenia range to Omar and his reaction was like... <laughs> Guys, you forget this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's good, isn't it? It's like proper sturdy. Mm -hmm. You'd think a detachable handle isn't as sturdy, but it really is. And then this I put on the hob, yeah? And then I put it in the oven because I took the, the handle off. Mm -hmm. So it's like you could put it in the oven straight. And then you can put it in the fridge and then you can put it in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. You need to get it. So guys, Tifa have very, very generously offered you guys 30% off the entire range. That includes sale items. It includes accessories as well. I just think this is such a good deal, such good quality. Just save so much space, time and effort. So if you'd like to get your hands on this range for 30% off, all you have to do is enter code INGENIO833 on screen now at checkout and click the link in the description box to shop the entire range on the Tifa website. Enjoy! So guys, I have finally got my desk fitted in and we are having a huge reorganization and in the process it's turned into a clear out. It wasn't actually my intention to get rid of anything because I kind of did this before moving but I've just five months and it's just built up again so i'm just decluttering so many things i actually just put a story up on instagram and so many of you guys said we want a vlog so i thought i'd pick up the camera even though i look like trash today i didn't want to vlog today but oh. so i've already whittled down most of my makeup i'm on the last bit now actually i think i've just finished the palettes yeah i have maybe this is good anyway because then you guys can see what products i actually really enjoy so here is my foundation section my favorite foundations. This one I really like, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. My absolute favorite is the Fenty Pro Filter, but I've actually got that in my travel bag at the moment because I just want to kind of use up my other foundations. Because if that's in here, it's all I use. But since that's not in here, I've been using this and it's my new favorite. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Stick. I'm in the shade Ginger or Dune. I can use both really, but I prefer Dune. And yeah, so many. This one is amazing for like events where you need a full coverage foundation that still looks great and not cakey this one is beautiful got some concealers here my I don't actually know if I have a favorite concealer I quite like the born this way concealer and then of course my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this foundation is beautiful as well but I don't use it as much as I should because it's just a little bit messy but it is the most beautiful finish it is the suku cream foundation if you're ever by a suku stall try this out it's so 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 nice on the skin got my hourglass palette here and the rodeo powder is one of my favorites for setting under the eye so this isn't a loose powder the finish is slightly different under your skin i just love the color of it the tone is very very nice and then of course my hourglass ambient lighting powder it's one of my favorites this is probably Probably my favorite finishing powder and then we've got a bunch of primers at the back the reason they're at the back is because this section is really hard to reach and I don't actually use primers very much I've got some tinted moisturizers there as well I mean if I really want to reach I can do and yeah that's the top drawer and the second drawer is kind of more complexion with like blushes highlighters sort of thing so these are all my blushes I've actually whittled these down quite a bit and then this section is actually contour and bronzer they're very concise compact this is one of my favorite favorites rodeal in copacabana it is so 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 pretty very bright which i love this is actually really nice as well which you wouldn't expect but the end of the stories cheek tint it's like a really nice cream blusher that's really nice too and then what else do we have i've been using the huda beauty cheek tints as well they're also really nice um obviously love this setting spray it's the best one i've ever used at the back there we've got some eyelashes which i don't really use eyelashes so that's why they're at the back here we have some cream contour so the same foundation stick in cinnamon now highlighters guys i absolutely love this sorry all my makeup is really grubby i should be cleaning it as i go along but can't be asked this in skinny dip is the most beautiful highlighter ever but it is also the most painful i hope it doesn't go everywhere yeah it shatters in every travel bag that i use but if i show you guys the tone it's the most perfect color for asian skin tones anyway so that one i really love and then another one i really like to use is the bare minerals highlighter in free it's also very nice and this one's a little bit more natural so day to day this one's really nice oh 
on to the next one. Here is my lipstick slash lip gloss drawer. So I don't even know where to start with this, honestly. But something I've been really, really, really loving is the Suku Comfort Lip Fluid. It is so beautiful. The finish is so nice. It reminds me of like Victoria Beckham type makeup. Mario, can you swatch this for me, please? you guys see like the formula is so it's like a mousse kind of formula but high-end <laughs> and then oh i don't have my favorite lipstick that rising star by Charlotte tilbury it is you swatch on a bit better love this lipstick so much which brings me on to the one i created which is that one there oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I put that in there, I was like, oh, great. It's like the perfect square. By the way, if you want to know where my lipstick dividers are from, they're from Amazon. This is the um, lipstick ah! <laughs> I created trying to mimic Rising Star. Let's actually see how close it is to Rising Star because this was my, like, goal. <laughs> That's not similar at all. <laughs> but I actually like it. I think I might prefer this because I think I actually said I want it a touch brighter. And to be fair, that's matte and that one's still glossy. That's why it mm. might look a bit different. And this dries down to a really different and throughout the day this gets brighter, I feel. Okay, so that's a good sign. We've still got some space at the back. I think I need to make some of these compartments bigger. I wonder what I should put at the back. Maybe some palettes or something. Then next drawer is eyeshadow. I usually have my lipsticks right at the bottom, but I thought I wear lipstick every time I do my makeup. I don't wear eyeshadow every time I do my makeup. So I've got like my essentials, mascara, eyelash curler, black and brown eyeliners, and then brow products. And then here we have like my favorite small palette. So a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury, a bunch of Suku. This is Hourglass and then some Bare Minerals. And then at the back there, we've got like, you know those like single eyeshadows or like eyeshadow tub type base things um little sharpeners and cinema secrets a makeup brush cleaner love that stuff and then here is where the rest of the palettes are gonna live but i kind of feel like palettes mario can go in here and here what do you think so like maybe the small huda beauty ones can go in there Inside here. right now we are tackling skincare hair care so much stuff like okay so this was like the stuff that was on top of my cabinet before we made my desk so this is stuff that i reached for so most of this is now going to go in the bathroom cabinet which is now installed yay um so we'll put the skincare to one side and then let's move on to hair this is one of the many things i'm going through an led mask cool so i think we can get rid of the box comes in a pouch so we can store it in that oh wow there's all like charges and whatnot oh my god what's this Oh, it's a controller. Wowzer. Right, I have whittled down my skincare. This is only like half of it, but I'm going to see how much fits in my bathroom cabinet and then I'm going to have to whittle it down even more. My bathroom cabinet here is like literally a third of the space I had at my old house. I was gonna tell you guys the old address. Yeah, it's um, like a third of the space I used to have. So I'm being forced to declutter. But it just, I, f I just feel so bad at the amount of product that is gonna go in the bin. Like I've tried my best. As soon as I receive PR, I try and sort it out either in my PR box, which is like a bunch of things that I need to try either in my bathroom cabinet or I give it to my mom and my sister or Maria or her family family but even then like there's only so much everyone can use so i think i just need to be a little bit more thoughtful mindful about the pr i accept i mean it's very generous of all the brands and i'm so 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 grateful like i literally dreamed of this and i didn't think it would be a reality so i am extremely grateful but i just so wasteful of me anyway let's get sorting we have this and we have a brand new empty bathroom cabinet downstairs so let's go put this away <laughs> Thank you. 
so we are about halfway i'd say well actually the cabinet's going quite full we have so much stuff to put in there yet i'm decluttering further though as i go because if it's not sparking joy it's not going in the cabinet so let's see how i get on this is finished a well-loved serum dermalogica by olumin c so it was really nice This is not ideal. I would preferably. Oh my god! Yeah, sorry, the same thing again. This razor keeps flipping. Huh? Oh, forgot! I've got Bangla class in three minutes. And we're back. Sorry about that. I completely forgot that I had Bangla class today. Got there just in time, thanks to Omar for reminding me. Anyway, this is my skincare cabinet. As I was saying, I hate that I have like things in front of each other. I feel like that's, it just means that the things at the back just don't get used. And over here, I've got flipping three <laughs> things in front of each other. So I, I, I do need to declutter this further, but these are all products that I either love or that I'm very keen to try. Yeah, maybe I will go, but like things like this, like I've used this for ages and like, you know, I've got so many other serums I need to try, but I just feel like it's too wasteful to just like throw something away. But I also have very limited space. So, I mean, it's not very limited. It's just, it's more than enough space. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm stumbling on my words. Let me show you guys some of the products I like actually. Highly recommend the Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter. It is so good and I feel like most of these types of products are really high-end and this one's really uh, affordable for what it is. Some other things I really like, the Paula's Choice 2% BHA. Uh, this one's such a well-known product, you guys probably already know about it, but it's really, really, really good if you want like to clear your skin out really well. This Dermalogica Daily Microfolian is really good as well. And then some bits up here, I'm really enjoying this Oliviana Eye Cream. Love SkinCeuticals serums, I really love so many of these especially these three at the front and most of these are like new stuff that I need to try out quite enjoying Drunk Elephant and this SkinCeuticals SPF I want to get the full size of this because it's really good and yeah everything else I kind of need to try out and that's my skincare cabinet mm -hmm.